So in this video, I will guide you about Rubik UHF copier, how to set up, how to use for the first time. This is a, a fast track video. So I will, um, I will do the steps little fast. There is a slower version of video as well, uh, given separately. So uh, I, I have to extract the software I have downloaded. After that, I go to the software. I run this application, UHF Reader. It's application, I double click on it. My UHF copier is already connected with the PC, but I have to connect it in the software. So I will click on open COM port. Once I open COM port, you will see the written information here and you will see the COM port here. So I press open COM port, COM4 and written information came. It means our reader is connected. Now I go to APCC1 G2 test. I went here, nothing I can see. So I will press the query tag. After that, I will scan this uh, card. I have a UHF test card. Okay, bring it down. It is scanning. Now I will uncheck. Now I have to read the block, the block, uh, the card details. So I have to change it to it because I want to read the full block. And then I will press the read button. And now you can see the card number is coming. If I connect again, multiple times coming, do not worry about it, it's normal. All you have to do is, you have to copy this matching number here. You can see, because now it's full block, you do not need this, you need this. All right, starting from E20,000, E20,000, okay. Copy, after you copy, Unselect this read button. All right, go to this right section. Remove, right click, paste. The same number now came here. Now we are good to write. This is a blank card, or you might have a sticker. Inside looks same, okay. The tag is same, you can see. All right, so this is the 9662H3. Okay, so now I'm ready to write. I will tap this uh, card here and press the write button. You can see at the same time. So I will bring it near the reader, writer, and I will press the write button. You will hear the beep. Once you hear the beep, you can see write EPC successfully. It's already done. Uh, you can do it again because the card is 10,000 times write -able. So I'm trying again, write, it's done. Once it's done, we can uh, verify it all right this is the card we have written now let's verify it okay i clear this information clear and then i query again now there's nothing in uh, this software now let's see if the card number coming here with this card is matching to the card number we written you can see it, it is matching so this card is successfully written. That's all. Thank you.